Because these are good cows. She's not a good cow. I think she's going bye-bye. I guess that's not good enough for her. She's got to eat this stuff. She knows uh, to follow. She'll run right up there. She doesn't mind me being right here. and She's easy enough to go back in. Hey, quit eating that. Come on. There's dad. Come on, mystery. You know where to go. Come on. Ugh. It's too cold for this crap. It's like she's done this so many times she's used to it. She don't even fight it anymore. It's just a game to her. It's like, <sighs> there she goes. Back in. Yeah, there she goes. And of course they're gonna think they're getting fed. She's in timeout. She went in the barn. She's not happy either. Oh well. I gotta go ride fence right now because we got a cow that keeps getting out. So uh, I've got my side by side here. I got my post driver, got my bucket, and the all time favorite, the uh, every every job for a fence you need is right here with this tool. So we're gonna go ride some fence right now. T posts. Two ought to do. What do you think? Should I bring three just in case? Ah, two will work. six they're all six here okay good i gotta figure out where they're getting out that's pretty dad's pretty sure uh that they're getting out that the one she's stepping under the hot wire here which he said he shut it off maybe i need to run up and uh double check because i don't want to get shocked touching these okay it's off but we've got that manure spreader up there you saw. We gotta come in and get all this crap. We're gonna have to pick it up and we're gonna respread it because they can step up onto right here and step right over. As you can see, all we have right now is that little rod with uh, the hot wire. That's it, no barbed wire. This fence is pretty old, but I did not realize he'd put panels down here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, we're going to take these T-posts. I may have to get another third T-post. And, uh, which actually we might stick one since he got four here. We might stick, uh, pick this guy. They should be locked together. But we might put a post right here between these two. And then a post right there between them two. So that way these two will be off that one and these two will be off that one. And I don't know if I'll need a third. This is our final product. I took one at the end here. Hopefully that'll keep her from coming out over here if this is where she's getting out. I still need to go ride fence around over there to see. But I put one right there. And then I put one right there. Um, like I said, until we get this all cleaned out, I mean, I actually can have the hot wire and actual fence between uh, Biff and them and us, then this will do for right now. 
I mean, we're supposed to have a guy coming out to fence out. We're probably gonna fence out this acreage. And then down in the bottom down there, we'll have them, we'll get rid of our temporary fences that we put up and put up real actual like five strand barbed wire fence. And as always, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up, that'll help. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button right here. And if you've already subscribed, hit the bell so you'll be notified when I put out new content. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all in the next one.